I'm with Jan Baptist. She's running for at-large city council. Jan, if you are elected, what are your top priorities for 2012 and 13 being on the city council at large? Right. Well, at large is a different kind of an animal than ward councilors, but I think my biggest thing would be still constituent services. I want to make sure that our citizens are getting what they need and understanding what's available for them in the city. Um, and like all of the mayors, you know, we know that education, uh, the mayoral candidates, we know that education is a big issue. Being an educator myself, I think I can bring a, a perspective on that. Uh, crime certainly is something that everybody's worried about, and I know a lot, a little bit about what's going on in the city because I've been the chair of the Human Relations Commission for several years. So from that uh, perspective, I understand agencies in the city. I understand different uh, nonprofits, what they're doing. I have a relationship with the police department um, and trying to get a relationship going with the fire department. We have all those great new cadets. So the city is, um, is a huge uh, a animal with a lot, of, a lot of different things that are happening in the city. And um, I think what we want to do is make things accessible to our citizens, both in terms of understanding what's there for them and understanding the limits of um, what we can and cannot do. And that brings us to the budget. Uh, people are talking about um, we have, we're have paying too high taxes, we need to lower taxes. I think that there's a, a big complex issue with regard to taxes. I spent a couple of hours working with someone in the assessor's office to try to understand how that works. And he said jokingly, you need more than two hours, and that's true. It's not something that we can understand very easily. But um, I'm a quick learner and I'm a dedicated person. I'm retired from Bristol Community College. I did um, education for 36 years there. I'm still on the faculty. So I, um, I'm looking forward to what I can bring to the concept of education. I think one of the things that I'm critical about is the mayor's relationship right now in the council. I think that's been a negative and it stopped us from moving forward. So I hope, I'm, I'm known for my mediation skills I hope that I can bring that to the, to the council. I think um, I'm a choice, I'm a new voice. I'll ask questions that maybe haven't been asked for a long time. And I always tell my students uh, when I'm trying to open their, their minds a little bit about a, a little joke about uh, three uh, uh, generations of women and their families sitting around Easter dinner and the cook brings the, the ham to the table and. Uh, the mother says, why did you cut the ends of the ham? And she said, well, because my mother did it. So they asked the matriarch, and why, you know, great-grandma, why did you always cut off the ends of the ham? And the great-grandmother says, because the pan wasn't big enough. So sometimes we do things because that's what we, we've been doing them. And I think I will ask questions and um, that may maybe make us think about um, what is making us operate this way and should we rethink it. This program is made possible with support from NewBedfordGuide.com, your guide to New Bedford and the South Coast region. And by MenuJoy.com, we show restaurant menus. You browse, you decide.